Hi Geminis, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is your Love 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 August 2017 reading. I'm going to start out with the uh, Romance Angel deck by Dorian Virtue and I'm going to combine it with the Rider Waite deck for further clarification as we move through each step of the reading before us. So let's give it a shot. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, or rising sign of Gemini with clearly defined love, love, love messages for August 2017. Now the card representing your current life path here on earth at this time is to open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all card, meaning the highest energy of love. So you're really wanting to give love to someone, some of you, not all of you, and the signs are cautioning you. In your thoughts position, Financial issues might be a factor in your thoughts and in your foundation. Some of you are thinking about taking some time off to disconnect from the world. Again, these are the Romance Angel cards by Doreen Virtue, and I'm going to combine the Rider weight deck for further clarification. Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, male or female, general reading. August Love Love 2017. All right, it's safe for you to love. You want to open up your heart, but for some reason you're having to lay down a battle. Something has been too much work. Some of you are paying attention to the red flags and you're recognizing a new direction at this time. Know that this new direction is being blessed by the universe. That's why it's very exciting. That's why it's drawing your attention. In your thoughts position, financial issues may be a factor, and you're up in your head, some of you Geminis, about that. In your foundation, it's time to disconnect and retreat from the world, and at that point, you start to receive a lot of messages. Could be spiritually, could be, yeah, messages related to someone in your past. Maybe in your past, you guys were trying to bring in a soulmate via your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations. And that person was a little bit older, more organized, structured, focused, determined. They had their armor on. And now moving forward, all of a sudden, when you take some time to retreat, you get a bunch of messages about a new path. Now, I don't know why I just had something pop up on my screen. There's your sign. In the next couple few weeks, you have the past life relationships. So there's someone you're going to connect with or someone's going to connect to you from the past or someone that feels very much like you've met them in the past. Use the er energies of the Hermit card to really look at the situation closely before doing anything. In the next four to six weeks, some of you have to come to the realization that there may be some sort of codependency going on with you. This could be an addiction to a person, place, or thing. Know that we all come here alone and we die alone and we learn to con how we connect with others here on earth while we're here and we report where we find ourselves on our spiritual path. Okay, so setting goals in the next four to six weeks like the Queen of Wands. To become very independent, to let go of anything in the past, and to just observe at this point in August. Yes, because Spirit is warning you of some sort of attraction that is not requited. There's not enough attraction or chemistry. And there's been a lesson for someone here. And the Hierophant is saying, congratulations, you've made it through should you recognize the codependency. In your hopes and fears, some of you are hoping to go ahead and make a romantic gesture to someone who has put you through too much. It's over. Let that go. Let it be done. In the outcome position, there may be a strong magnetic attraction, but spirit's still trying to tell you that you need to be the one to be strong enough to put an end to a situation. That's going to bring you many blessings. Now the card representing the entire read speaks of different viewpoints. So maybe you and or another person or people have had different viewpoints on what a love connection involves. 
So maybe it's time to just get clear about your own perspective. Keep your heart open. Continue to take steps in the direction of love for those of you who are single. We have the deception card here saying someone's wearing a, self ma a uh, <clears throat> false mask, but <clears throat> pardon me. It's being... It's combined with the Three of Pentacles speaking maybe that there's someone at work that has been un, like telling lies and or there is a third person involved in someone you guys may be contemplating. So it may be time if you have a moment to go take the steps in your train, plane, or automobile to honestly discuss with someone what you want in your future. Some of you may want that happily ever after, marriage and children. In the next three to six months, a lot of you are gonna be healing. Your love lives are benefiting as you forgive someone. Doesn't necessarily need to be your parents, but someone or something that has just gone back and forth and back and forth. Spirit's here to tell you that Cupid's arrow is aiming right at you. You deserve love and you are lovable. So hope, wish, and pray on a star with the star card energies here for exactly what it is that you want. And Spirit's confirming the message, telling you, that it's your self-respect that will make you more romantically attractive to others. So stand strong in your own, create beautiful, strong, successful opportunities around you and for you. And then once you are standing strong in your own, you start to feel a strong sense of independence. And, and as a whole, it makes you a stronger person. It makes you Realize that you have grown to a different level spiritually and therefore may not be letting someone in your path who's going through something you've already experienced. Okay, so it's time for you to experience new things when it comes to your love lives. Some of you, not all of you, of course. If this connects, that's great. If not, I'm at josiek42 at gmail.com. The information is below. So I have a three card layout to my left with the same Rider weight deck and the first card representing the first week and a half to two weeks from when you watch this video is the Knight of Wands. So racing in, getting excited about maybe traveling or taking a trip, using the energies of the Strength card to take some time out and to set some different goals for yourselves. Some of you may find yourself in a leadership position. Some of you are thinking about offering a cup of love to someone, but you're trying to get to the truth of the situation for some reason. You want to claim victory over something. So... I don't understand if there's a love offer here or not. Are you guys offering a full cup of love or just a partial cup of love? Are you or is someone else? I see that you guys don't really want love. Some of you, not all of you. I almost feel like more males than females, but you know, let's continue before I go there. Getting clear about your direction is what's most important this month, okay? So really look at a situation for what it is. Make whatever decisions need to be made. Take off the blindfold and find your happily ever after. It is there. And so is finances. You are not stuck in your current circumstances. In the next couple few weeks, you are getting excited about a new path when it comes to finances and career. Continue to listen to the energies of the High Priestess and be very, very patient at this time. A new offer is coming into your life. It could be love. A new path in love. For some of you with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, and you're really excited to take a risk. So, um, for some of you, this is a money offer. For some of you, this is an earth sign. In the next four to six weeks, oof, yeah, that's why it's good to start out being clear in the beginning about what you want out of a situation and what you don't so that it doesn't start causing emotional heartache. No accident that 
be open, but don't turn it instantly into a relationship. There's always that friend zone. So it's a good time for you guys to take a vacation, get away, think about what it is you want in a relationship if you're single. <coughs> Decide what it is you've needed to learn because it appears as you've gone full circle here. You've learned from some sort of lesson and now you're able to step into this new world path as a stronger, happier person because of what you've learned. And so, yeah, don't reminisce and look back on the past. What's happened has happened to make you stronger now. I'm going to confirm this layout with more spiritual messages. They want to talk about knowing the difference between who is not good for you and who is a blessing. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please continue to bless us with spiritual messages from the Angel Answers deck by Dorian Virtue. Messages for those born under the sun sign, moon sign, or rising sign of Gemini, male or female, August 2017. Thank you. So right off the bat, spirit saying, a lot of things are going on for people and they are feeling success, but yet we have a no crossing that with an exclamation mark. So right away, I want to clarify. Just like we have the devil and we have the new path in love. We have success and no. So clear messages from spirit. All right, so maybe there was a successful connection and then at some point you're using the hermit energies to really look at the whole situation much closer and to take your time maybe even nine weeks to get more clarity about someone or something that's at a distance not making any sudden moves or choices in your thoughts perfect timing Maybe some of you are thinking it's perfect timing that something else has ended so that something new can begin. And spirit in your foundation is saying take action. There may be a brand new exciting passionate path. There may be a path when it comes to finances and career and great opportunity ahead of you. In the recent past, spirit was saying it's up to you to open up those wings and fly and make a wish with the nine of cups. You've worked very hard and they would like to help you make a wish come true. So you're connecting out, but spirit's saying no. It's all about perfect timing. Something has to be let go. Then you have to think about success for a while. Not jump too much, but take action when you feel that this opportunity is the one being offered by the universe. <clears throat> in the next couple few weeks, we have in the near future messages lots of messages messages coming quickly and you in the next four to six weeks gemini need to be alert need to be looking for a sign as to when you can put closure to something so this is switching over to a new job maybe or a new relationship it seems like it's kind of happening quickly the situation will improve, Spirit says, when it comes to children or a connection from the past. In the near future, you will hear messages. They will come quickly, and it will happen at the perfect timing. In your hopes and fears, there's something better. So don't worry about being up in your head about the way things are currently. Continue to hope that perfect timing will improve a situation and that there will be something better and then look for a sign in your outcome position asking help from others maybe with some of you asking help and support from a Pisces Cancer or Scorpio but I feel like Pisces with this one male or female it's a general reading the card overlooking the entire read is that something altogether is unlikely and the reason it's unlikely is because the situation is too sneaky. Spirit is saying yes with an exclamation mark to actually laying down a path completely before moving forward. There will people there will be there for people who will be there for you and angels as you can see who are going to help you to grow and create something from where you've been, from what you've learned. 
creating something bigger and better and more. So wait for a moment. Don't get up in your head. Don't share harsh words with others. It's just bad energy. And get more information when it comes to deciding things about money, career, finance, maybe even people. And then let go. Then take the steps in a different direction. Hop in your train, plane, or automobile and head off because there will come a point where you are ready for the new path in love overflowing with abundance and prosperity and fulfillment from the universe. And behind that card was happy changes. Big happy changes, it says. Wow. So it's all about timing. It's all about doing things the right way. It's all about making sure people don't get hurt. It's all about being honest with others. It's all about communicating, taking one step at a time, looking for the right signs, asking spirit for direction, and yeah, looking for that sign. All right, so in a three-card summary to my left, with a Rider weight deck, in the first week and a half to two weeks, you guys just need to take some time to be patient before actually taking any steps forward. Turn your thinking around from being upset about something to being happy about something, or if there are three people involved, let that situation go until you are by yourself once again and can reconnect with someone anew. For some of you, there may this passion and lust and intensity may lead right smack into a, a marriage or engagement. In the next four to six weeks, here you are hop, skipping and jumping on a path, getting excited. For some of you, about a big opportunity when it comes to career and finances, maybe your own business, or a person who's an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, Sun, moon, or rising, male or female. And you've got the energies of the judgment card here. So Spirit's going to help you to make the right choices. You guys are going to need to open up your heart and let an old heartache go. Follow a new path, but slow your roll. All right. To close your reading, guys, I'm pulling a card from the Mary Queen of Angels deck by Dorian Virtue for a word of prayer to carry you forward through August 2017 and you're receiving the truth card. I am lovingly honest with others and with myself. And real quick, I'm going to read that to you. You drew this card because some truth is being hidden. Most likely you are the one hiding it from yourself. How do you really feel about your present situation? This card counsels you to take an honest inventory, admitting your most vulnerable feelings to yourself. If someone isn't being forthright with you, you'll know that within your heart. The first person who comes to mind is probably involved in this dishonesty. Sometimes people aren't truthful because their fears conflict, making them people please. Other times, dishonesty stems from a lack mentality arising when individuals believe that they have to take what they want because there's not enough to go around. Take the time to sit quietly in meditation and ask God and Holy Spirit to reveal the truth about your present situation. Although the truth has a subjective component and opinions about the same situation, they will vary from person to person. There's a need to there's a need for greater honesty in order to heal and to resolve the present situation. So yes, heal and resolve. And once you do that, then you can finally move forward in your path, Geminis. Thanks again for stopping by. Again, if you need a read, my email is josiek42 at gmail.com. Best of luck to you all in August 2017 with love. Take care and God bless.